has happened in between winter and spring. I don't know what happened, but... Uh, yeah, it's good though, right? We've been very, very, very busy. Yeah, it's been great. Things are going well, the, the weather's been great, and the business is going well. So, so let's get on with the vlog. And uh, again, if you like what you've seen today, please uh, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. It really does help our channel if you do. Hi, I'm John, and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. The Open CrossFit Friday Night Lights have started and so for the next three Fridays I will be taking both photos and videos for my local gym. For those of you who are not aware what this is, Friday Night Lights or Open CrossFit events, uh, it's an annual competition that happens over a three weeks period. Athletes compete in a series of events in the game such as weightlifting, gymnastic movements, running and cycling. Again. Yay! So, you know, I told you, you can't talk while this is playing. It is recording though, right? Yes. And, That's um, important. Anyway, so before we uh, start sharing with you everything that we put together, um, you want to do some housekeeping? Absolutely. So uh, everything that we do here on our chat is to promote what uh, Bogdan and I are working on, what we have available as far as art for sale. Let's well, every week we're still doing the art chat live show on uh, Facebook Live. So we're doing that every Saturday morning. We may move back to, to during the week, but uh, it has been a real constant for us and a way to, for us to present who we are, what it is we're working on, and frankly, what's available for purchase. So it has been a great, I think, uh, experiment for us. And it's something we've really been able to stick with for, what, over a year now. So. Uh, it actually started with a, uh, a need to have something during the pandemic when nobody could come to the studio. And it has just stuck with it uh, and has become just a, a really a, a general part of our art practice and our art business. Uh, so uh, check us out. We do it every week. And uh, Art Chat is a way for us to really just present ourselves uh, in, in, in a less... I don't know, polished or, or commercial sort of, of a presentation in advertising or marketing. It's just Bogdan and I talking about our art and what's been going on in our week. Check it out. Thank you for watching us and we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye, guys. Bye. So open Saturdays is a really important part of our art business. We open our doors regularly for the public to come in and hopefully to buy something, but to familiarize them with our work. We also have exhibit spaces. Here's a show we had this last week with Aaron D. and Brandon Lack. Uh, they were showing their art uh, for their family and friends, and we were able to partake in that as being part of the studios. Great show. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are so Waking you're up. gonna say good morning to me, just to everybody except Yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met him before. Uh, so a little change like, of plans, huh? It looks like uh, we are starting the day always in these damn chairs. <laughs> That's what they're for. <laughs> Listen, a little bit of change of plans today. We're not gonna go into the studio. We've got some car issues we're gonna try and deal with, as well as just things around the house, so. Wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Why'd you say we? You. We'll stay home to take the car, and I'll go to the studio. You just told me you were staying home. No, I did not. I have a meeting with Mariana at 10 o'clock. Oh, my God. That's what he told me. I say Friday. Fine. Friday. So take your camera 
keep us informed of what's going on. Let's go do it. Hey, I just forgot to share a, a nice moment. Um, Rosa and Bob Ballard are um, some of our friends and collectors. And um, recently was uh, Bob's birthday and um, Rosa wanted a commission work for those um, uh, surrealistic sort of images uh, that I put together some time ago. Uh, she wanted something in that style and then she sent me a picture of Bob's mom and uh, wanted something uh, you know out of this space so um, I had to work a uh, surrealistic uh, image um, with Bob's mom you know the, the, the picture uh, Rosa sent me with Bob's mom was very little and um, the detail of the pictures, the detail of the face were not very clear but I managed to, you know, um, reconstruct the face uh, completely and give it a nice good quality and then rebuild the whole body because um, it was only almost like a headshot. And I think uh, we revealed that to him, we went to, last Saturday we went to uh, an official uh, dinner at their place where um, I revealed the picture and uh, it was a surprise for both Bob and Rosa because they didn't know what to expect and uh, you know I asked uh, Rosa do you want to see the picture before uh, I bring it over and she said no 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 I, I want a full reveal and I think it was a very nice surprise and uh, I, I could see um, and the happiness in Bob's eye and you know uh, the, the unexpected sort of uh, present in a way. Ah, scissors please. Oh, no, I no. no, I think no, you I think you need. You need scissors. It'll make it easier. There you go. But this is what I wanted to share with you because it was a great moment and uh, you know, life goes on and I keep forget about these little moments, these nice little moments. And now um, I'm going to work this morning, I'm going to meet with Mariana San Martino. She is an artist at Silver Street Studios and she does a lot of uh, lighting and design and um, she's working actually um, with metal in a way to, to create texturized walls, something like that, very sophisticated. And then she, she, she is in need of creating these uh, mock-ups for various clients. And she's like, Bogdan, uh, uh, creating a mock-up, it takes me days. So uh, can you help me, teach me how to speed up this process so I can uh, create mock-ups faster? So this is what I'm doing with her this morning. She has a project she needs to work on and um, we'll see where it goes and what can we do about it. Out of way. Before, because you're new and you don't want to destroy the picture, you always create a duplicate, okay. a new layer. Okay. So create a new layer. I have no idea. Okay, so um, you click on that. Uh -huh. So now you are constructing at this point. Uh -huh. You are destroying the image. Mm -hmm. Always work on a new layer every time you add a paint. Because if it's not good, yeah. then you go on and on and on and on and on and on. You build up the history of whatever you actions. But if you want to go back, 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 sometimes the computer does not go that deep back. Right, right. And so it's you hard always, for you to remember. Everything that you build major, you create a new layer. <laughs> Makes sense. And also you can turn it off and on or completely. Yes. <laughs>
Okay, looks like just me today. <laughs> well, Don came to me this morning and said, do you mind if we stay home today? I said, not a problem. And I guess that's a real benefit of running your own business and being kind of entrepreneurial is that I can work from home just as easily as I can from the studio. We like to go into the studio because first of all, it's set up nicely. And secondly, you never know who's gonna walk in and make a purchase. So there is a benefit to, to having some regular studio hours. But anyway, I was saying, fine, we'll stay home. And then I find out he's going in. So uh, that changes my day a bit. I have, uh, I got a couple of meetings uh, that I can do over the phone, not a big deal. And I probably can do some work, which I really need to do because this week is the uh, incubator program. So I'd kind of like to, to have some work ready for that. So it's actually a good thing. I am staying home tomorrow as well. So got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna get to it. Um, yeah, one of the meetings I have this morning is uh, for a CRM program. And that's a, 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 a bit of software management platform, really, that will allow you to track in emails, uh, contacts, um, develop sales potentials and leads, as well as donors. And uh, we talked to Nicole uh, Miner, who is the director of the Pangea Network, a friend of ours who has her own nonprofit that also runs in two countries. And she was saying, you know, after I think seven, eight years of doing this, what she really wishes she'd have done from the beginning is to get a really legitimate donor management software package uh, to start with. She said it saves her so much time now it was a pain for her to, to transfer over, to migrate the information from what she was doing before, which I think was just a spreadsheet. And she said it would have saved her a lot of time, even though there's an expense. So I'm, I've got a call in this morning with, uh, with one company, and, um, but there's another, there, there's a couple that, that are, are really well reviewed. And uh, let's, we'll see. I mean, it's early days. We still don't have the bank account yet. We still don't have the tax-free status yet. So uh, early days, but I'm gonna meet with them um, and hopefully get some sense of, because it's quite expensive, what is it I'm gonna get for my money? Yeah, I think it looks fabulous. Actually, almost 3D looking, um, and is not a 3D in any in any way. Uh, I'm very happy about it. And now I'm going to think, oh, what kind of message do I put in um, in that window square in the middle of um, the the beautiful ornate uh, uh, mold? We'll see. Uh, so far, I'm very pleased with the result. Even this way makes a beautiful, beautiful frame. Hey guys, real quick, 
trip to Home Depot. I'm out of spray paint, and so I'm going to go stock up on a, some of the uh, kind of more artsy colors uh, uh, for spray paint so that I can work further on my project. So uh, let's go. Michael, how are you? We're always early. You know what? It's better than being late. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, it's, I make it a habit to do that. No, uh, I've got nothing else to do. Hey, Michael. <laughs> All right. Hey, Michael. Every other week, I participate in the incubator program with Art Gallery Studios in Mexico City with Michael Swain. This is a group of, uh, there's about eight to ten of us in this particular cohort. We get together there. every other week. We talk about our art. We talk about what was, what our problems are, what our needs are, what our questions are, and we also give feedback to each other. It's a real way for me to, to develop my own individual style, my own my own art practice that is distinct from the business and distinct from Bogdan's art practice. So it's my way of giving my art some, some valued time. Uh, and I really enjoy it, and it has been a great help to me so far. Check it out, Art Gallery Studios Incubator Program in Mexico City. Good morning, everybody. It is a lovely spring morning here. I mean, it's going to be, what, 80 degrees? In February, so we're finally, finally, yeah, the the birds are starting to make nests and the boy cats are starting to show up. Uh, Ooh, cha, it's like a whorehouse here. Exactly, exactly. And, and Mal, she's been fixed, but she doesn't know it. She's quite the tease. But uh, yeah, so spring is here. We're getting ready to drive into Houston and uh, see what the day has planned. So. Uh, Come along with. Okay, so this is your first time in two weeks going to the studio. <laughs> it's not true. I was in there on Saturday. Oh my goodness, it's only it Tuesday. Was, um, you know, I work so hard lately. I kind of did nothing in the last few days. I mean, I did lots of things, but uh, it feels like I do nothing <laughs> comparing with other times. But... Um, I mean, there are times when you just have to kind of push through, even if you're not feeling it. Um, I mean, for me, with all the stuff I've been doing with uh, Aripa Arte, I, I, that's, that's kept me pretty busy. It's hard for me. I tried to do a lot of the uh, kind of monoprints yesterday. Oh, you did? I, I tried messing with it, and, you know, it's the first one I've done, so it didn't come out that great. Did you film something? Uh, no, I didn't, because it was the first one, and I said, I'm going to screw this up. I don't know if I'm going to be lost all day without my phone. Or, Didn't I say that? or I might be the most productive I've ever been. We'll see. One of the two. What are you working on? There's all kinds of fairs going on in the in the spring. We haven't done one of those where you go with a tent and do the whole art market thing. 
I gotta figure out where Grapevine is. A 175? I'm requesting two spaces. I'm requesting two spaces, not one space. We have two spaces to do. Yeah, but look what it costs to go to a, a real fair. Let's see. Lots of options. I know a lot of people who do these kinds of fairs, uh, and they they stop doing them after a while because it, they just say it's not worth it. Let's see. Hi. Where have you been? I just uh, um, wasted another five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars just on paper? Yeah. They said, you know, there is a. There is a promotion going on. You get a uh, tree and then you send the rebate back to Epson and they will um, give you money back for a package. So they thought of me and I, what could I say now? So $500, you got three boxes of paper. How much is the rebate? A dollar? 150. A dollar? 150 each box? One, uh, or total? I get a discount for 150. 150 off of the 500. Uh, it's still a lot of money, you know. It ain't it ain't cheap being pretty. I'm glad you don't film yourself because you you need a desperate haircut. Fix that. I'll fix that. And so, as for me, what I've been working on uh, pretty much since lunch has been uh, trying to look at our creating a strategic plan for Arepa Arte uh, to kind of facilitate our first board meeting. If I can go in there with a bunch of stuff already done, then we can just tweak it and don't have to create things from scratch. So thank you, Bogdan, for doing that right in the middle of my but that's, filming. that's okay, because this is a day on of our life. A lot yeah. of noise. There's a lot of noise so, in our lives. So the fact that somebody is beating up a nail up on the hallway, that doesn't bother him, but I'm making a poor little Somebody sad driving stand. a big beeping car anyway working on this it's kind of nice it's pretty quiet here at the studio today and uh, I've been able to to catch up on some stuff which really helps me get my head organized going forward uh, with forming the uh, the nonprofit so that's what I'm working on well it's time to complete some uh, Urbana now you know I have one more piece I was playing with the other day and uh, I feel like it's missing something, so I'm going to try to finish it today and uh, have it ready finally. God, the, the colors are amazing. How did you achieve this? Is this is this spray paint? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it needs much. No, I don't think it needs much at all. And this is paper, mm -hmm. and of course it's photograph. And then you'll back it, or how will you mount it? Yeah, it's gonna be on a cardboard. On a data board or something. Excellent, lovely. is going to have applied here some uh, uh, stripes of paper, uh, painted paper, which would be kind of a, a hair uh, sort of uh, hanging around, uh, which is cute. But before I do that, I need to, to scan these things in case I may make some prints. I'll have a copy of it uh, before I apply the, the hair. So um, this is what I'm gonna do uh, next.
the Chevy Channel. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm gross. I just came from running. I can't be seen like this. Mm hmm. Recognize? That would be Urbana. Great guys, thanks so much. Again, if you like what you saw today, we could sure use a like, a subscription, hit that notification bell. Uh, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you again next week. Bye guys. Bye.